Well, thank you, Chairman Duncan and Ranking Member Deget for uh, organizing this important hearing on how we update our uh, nuclear policies um, here in America. It's a good time to do that because over the past couple of years, Democrats and President Biden have made tremendous investments in the nuclear power industry, uh, and it's critical for all of us to work together to, to build on that process. The bipartisan infrastructure law provided $6 billion for the Civil Nuclear Credit Program, funds that will ensure our already existing fleet of nuclear reactors stays safe and competitive. We have 93 reactors at 55 plants. They provide 46% uh, uh, carbon, or tw they provide 20% of our electricity generation and 46% of our carbon-free uh, power. The, then add on the Inflation Reduction Act, Democrats created a tax credit of up to 1.8 cents per kilowatt hour for zero emission nuclear energy and provided DOE with 700 million to invest in increasing the availability of next generation nuclear fuel for advanced reactors. So like I said, this is a very good time to do this. Um, what did, Mr. Dorman, what is the oldest reactor in, in the US that's operating currently? I used to know that, but it closed. I, I, I think it's Dresden in Illinois. So how point. old? How, as we extend the, right. we go through the safety review on extension of licenses, what's our oldest reactor? What do we need to be considering? I, if I remember right, I think Dresden was licensed around the 1970 time frame, so it would be uh, 53 years-ish. The... As we go through this process of trying to safely extend the life of nuclear power plants, I'm, I'm uh, concerned with extreme events right now. And there's one plant in Florida, Turkey Creek, where it was, uh, it was built right there between Biscayne Bay and uh, the Everglades. They had uh, extended the life of that plant uh, a few years ago, and then did a safety review, and they took, they rolled it back. So I'm curious as we as we update our policies on review of the existing plants, do you have the authority to to really look at uh, the impacts of climate change, whether it's extreme heat or flash floods, uh, hurricanes, or, you know, earthquakes are are a, diff are a little different, but. I, I just, as we talk about streamlining and environmental reviews, I don't want us to, to lose sight of the increasingly unpredictable extreme events caused by climate change. Yeah, thank, thank you, Congresswoman. Following the Fukushima accident, uh, we did a complete review of flooding and seismic issues for all the operating plants in the United States. And we also established what we call a process for ongoing assessment of natural hazards information. So that's a process where the staff is, is constantly looking to USGS for seismic, looking to NOAA for weather information, uh, looking to the, the Corps of Engineers for dam reliability, issues that could impact nuclear power plants. Where we have, where we would see any uh, gap in, in the licensing basis of an existing plant based on new information, we have the authority we need to, uh, to engage that licensee and, and uh, bring about change to address that, such a gap if it were to occur. Dr. Goff, do, do we need to, to uh, as we update uh, policies, do we need to keep anything in mind in particular for extension of useful life or the new, the new sites for uh, the small modular reactors when it comes to these, the, the shifting extreme events? Yes, we do need to take uh, into account the climate and the, the river, the water usage. And I'll note a lot of these plants, though, that some of the advanced ones can actually do more dry cooling, too. So they have less water needs, which could be very important going Because wasn't there recently an incident in France where the, the water temperature to cool the reactor was at issue? You, you can at times downrate plants because of the whatever their cooling water is. If it gets too high, they have to back off on the power level. That, has ha that happens lots of times during the summer uh, in a lot of different areas in Oswego. So do you need, uh, do the agencies need additional authorities or do you have the authorities uh, that exist now to, to, to conduct all of the necessary reviews? I believe we have the authorities right now to, to do those unnecessary reviews to assess. And would any of the legislation here 
uh, counteract that, take authorities away that you need in this unpredictable world right now? Not that I'm aware. Okay. No, not that I'm aware of. All right. Thank you very much. And um, LA yields back 